It's the Trump helicopter coming into land at the Trump Hotel, overlooking the Trump golf course. It can only mean one thing, another debate about illegal immigration. Where do you get the immigrant UK? comments, Mr. Trump? Well, uh, your comments about illegal Hastings? immigration in the UK. What do you think about that? Should we build a roll around Britain? Are you diminished by claims that you are a racist? Uh, question. The point of this visit was meant to promote this Trump resort and also the very historic golf course that it overlooks. But Trump's guests down there are in two minds about him. From what I can understand, he's, he's doing a good job with the course, uh, but the man himself is, to me, a bit of a joke. He's a very selfish, self-centred man with his own um, opinions about how he wants to do things or what he wants to do. <laughs> that, that's life. <laughs> well, personally, I think um, Donald Trump's uh, done really well in Scotland. He's done really well for golf, and uh, he represents everything for it. And um, this place has changed tremendously, and it's all down to him and his money, so what more can you say? His, his recent comments about Mexicans and things seem very silly comments to me. However, he's got a history of doing fantastic things for golf, both women's and men's. At a press conference, it was back to immigration. I've been proven to be right on illegal immigration in the United States. Then on to questions about everything, from Scottish separatism to big game hunting, international relations and world peace, no less. You know, I always heard for many years, the worst thing that can happen for world peace is if Russia and China ever get together. We, through our incompetent leaders in Washington, drove Russia and China together. The Trump Show, as some are quietly calling it here, is in town until Saturday. It was meant to be a break from political campaigning, but this is turning into the Scottish leg of Trump's headline-making tour. Max Foster, CNN, Turnbury, Scotland.